It's a rivalry 93 years in the making, and for the third time, Marcus Freeman runs his team out of the tunnel here. Once either, they'll just set the ball 40 yards in the opposite direction, but for now, the lone kickoff the day of the day is underway, and here we are in the blue gold game. As this ball is taken out across <laughs> the 40 yard line. You like to see specials, but they're one off the blue team, as Angeli will take the First snap of the ball game, hands it off. This is a run right up the gut, and that's going nowhere. He handed it off to Jeremiah Love, a guy Jeremiah we talked to yesterday. Love. Referred to him as maybe their most explosive player on offense. As on second down, Angeli will throw it to Love again. Makes a move in the flat, picks up a few before going out of bounds. This year, he said his dad told him that he reminded him of Barry Sanders with, with his <laughs> lateral agility. As Angeli has to tuck it and run here. He's got the red jersey on. Let's see if they can get off the field. Angeli. They need two yards, hands it off to Love, makes a man miss. He's got the first down across midfield, and Love is into. There's Jaden Greathouse going in motion on a fresh set of downs, and he's going to get a pitch on an end around. Oh, it looked like he wanted to throw it himself for a moment. Then he thinks better of it, and he takes a couple yard loss. How that affects play calls. Their first time using that is Angeli on second and long. Throws down the seam. He was looking that time for Eli Raridan, and the ball was a little bit underneath for this Notre Dame team going forward. Now third down and 13 for Angeli. Go underneath to Raridan. Makes the catch, but can be brought down after the Gamecocks at South Carolina. Here it comes. On its way. It's a low kick, and it comes up short. And forward. As he takes a snap on third down. Takes a shot. Oh, that was in the hands that time of Micah Gilbert, and it's a drop. An environment like this. So it'll be fun to see how these guys play, particularly the young guys getting this first action. Four receivers set on first down, and it's Angeli finding Raritan, who makes a catch. Performed really well in the Sun Bowl. This guy's a good football player. Yeah, it was 15 for 19 in the Sun Bowl as he hands it off to the early enrollee, Aeneas Williams. Chronology. You hear the different nuances and the details that each of the coordinator emphasizes, and, and he really feels like that's helped him grow as a quarterback. On this second offensive drive for the blue team, Angeli going to move up in the pocket, throw, connects with Deion Colsey across midfield. He's taken down by Christian. As the season unfolds. It's got to be somebody that Angeli is very familiar with, with an otherwise very new receiver room. Goes right back to Colsey, catches it in front of the sticks, turns himself upfield, and has enough. Empty backfield here on first down for Angeli. Five receivers as he goes to work with a fresh set of downs. Throws it out to the near sideline. Catches made by freshman tight end Jack Larson. He's certainly going to get some action here throughout this day. Keep it on the ground here on second and short. It's love, and it's going nowhere. And I'll go, and they're really talking a lot about number 27. I get used to that name, Kingston Viliamu Asa. KVA if you want to keep it short, as love is close to a first down. But Looking down, creating a third and long in the fringe area of the field. And Jelly, all kinds of pressure in his face. They try to set up a screen to Colsey. It goes on the gold side. That's a gift to the blue team. Oh, it may have gotten him to jump again. Another free play. And Jelly down the seam. Raritan juggles it. Now catches it, it. And he's in. <laughs> Extra point now from Jeter. Is straight through. The blue team. Allen just carries himself the right way. And he is a really good football player. This one's out quick again out of the backfield. Justin Fisher makes the catch as a quarterback playing the position. Work out of the pistol here. Again, it's a hand up, up the run. middle. Fisher takes a big shot as he gets across the line. Preston Zip filling in maybe for Bertrand or Leah Fow going forward. You can keep an eye on them throughout the day as Minchie, he's a live player, so he can take off and run, and he'll do just that. Gets across the 40, now tiptoes the play sorted out. And a fresh set of downs as they approach midfield. Jabron Payne is his back, hands it off to Payne, makes a move across midfield inside the 40-yard line. It's a pick on the team. So he was called upon in a lot of those third and short situations. They swing it out here again to Fisher, who makes the catch. It's Bowen who gets to him first and brings him down quickly after a pick. Zero Minchie goes on third and long. Pressure comes, has to get it away, oh, and it's oh. picked off. In the secondary, it's Luke Talek with the interception. And we'll have to wait to watch him throw a ball as he hands it off. Goes for a yard. 
and that ends the first good job good oh. job good job that's a pen he's intelligent he's making really good decisions and most of the time they're in uh, most of the time they're in red in practice and so you, you don't see his car pass too much, is complete today we saw it in practice and we're seeing it here Right, Mark, it's just the quickness of the decisions yeah, as much as anything else. That's right. That's right. Well, we were talking to Coach Denbrock, and he I said oftentimes... Let's see where CJ goes on this play. Bam. Good. Pass is caught by Mitchell. Yeah, I want to ask you one thing too, Coach. You got Riley he Leonard about... Mental reps. He's not, not just mental for him, they're physical. He's actually going through it and, and making the right reads, and it's... I mean, it's just a, a reflection of who he is, the competitor. He's, he, he could be easily... He is going forward. Yeah. He was able early in spring to do a lot. Uh, he was full go. And then... Um, uh oh touchdown. Oh, touchdown. You're right. Aeneas Williams is... Down, <laughs> um, you know, Coach, he, he was er healthy early in the spring. And then we made a decision to... Uh, oh, yeah. He is, uh, he's coming here and, and, and really done a good job of picking up the offense and, and you know what the, the thing I told you when I first met with him, I said to compete they've been impressive gold teams back on the field as they'll hand it off on first down Jabron Payne good work across the 30 takes it towards the near sideline before being both in development in this role and it's what every player assistant coach head coach goes through when you haven't done something hope name and he's had a lot of successes he's had some adversities and he's one of those guys who learns from the adversities and, and fixes them and that's as a coach that's what you want from your players and certainly that's what you want from your this point he absolutely is and when you have some experiences and you learn from them both good and bad you tend to take advantage of them the next time they come around if you approach it the right way and again it's the same thing it's fun to see that and uh this notre dame football family is lucky to have him leading the sh running the show is there something you found in your coaching career that when it was your i like the staff that he's put together he has history with these guys den brock they were together at cincinnati mike brown the receiver coach they were together gino goodooley they were together simply going through the mechanics of the position that's where he has to grow Here's Payne again, running hard across the 20, inside the 15-yard line. Great spring and has looked sharp here in the blue gold game. As Minchie fakes the handoff to Payne this time, he'll run it across the 10 before he steps out of bounds. Truth. Second and 10, Payne gets it again. Puts his head down <laughs> up the middle, and he pushes that pile. will give him four yards. Yeah. Inspired a lot of guys in that gold locker room, I think, as Minchie's going to take it and run. Over tackled, puts his head down, and he's into the end zone. Kenny in from five yards out, and the gold team is on the scoreboard. Absolutely love the call, baby. 11 plays, 75 yards. Minchie looked like the real deal on that drive, and he has the gold team on the score. Blessing because I'm grateful for it. Um, it's going to ultimately make me a better player and a better man. You are a member of the gold team today. I know it's an intense rivalry. <laughs> what is your message to the blue team? I was able to give some information to him. Um, and they've been just having a, a great a great spring. Um, compete on the ball, making a lot of plays on the ball. And that's, been, that's what it was about playing DB. You bring the ball. has been a guy who's shown up really from day one for Notre Dame. Made so many plays as a freshman and continues to mature and grow as a player. You know, I was thinking when we were watching that interview. Way up on draft boards a year from now because that was the best receiver in college football. And he made him look at times pretty pedestrian in that game as Coles, he makes a nice catch on a receiver, six feet four, can extend and pluck and delivers a strike. Carr was incomplete on his first throw. And with that completion, he's now completed six consecutive. Even through any adversity. All right, thanks, Caroline. Quickly on fourth down, they'll hand it off. Oh, good work by Williams. One of C.J. Carr's classmates spins off Reese a couple, three years ago, and he stuck with his commitments when there were some coaching changes, and the Notre Dame faithful is certainly happy. What a hit right there. That's for the two-minute warning, after the two-minute warning, and there's a lot of science and analytics that goes into those decisions. Carr being flushed, pumps along the sideline, then tries to fit a ball in. Smooth. That time it's out of his reach and it's second down for Minchie. Out of the shotgun, goes back to Smith, makes the catch, and there's Mickey taking him down right away. Thing in talking to Al was he said, We have no interest in being the number one rush defense in college football. 
Angeli's back on the field, and he runs out. Clock's all the way down to 20 seconds. Angeli to throw on fourth down. Gets it out to Rairdon. Oh, and he dropped it. Into field goal range and give your kick for a chance. And she'll throw. It's Whitman. It's caught just beyond the sticks. I think they're giving him a chance to do it. See where Minchie goes. Pressure from behind, and he goes down. Ball came out as well. Went down a couple of dunks. He said he did get some open run with them when time was available in his spare time away from football as Minchie is able to escape the pocket and run for a first down. Came courtesy of him running it in. Fresh set of downs. They hand it off. Obin's the first one to make the tackle, and the ball comes out. And they'll say receivers run up and get first down depth. So wouldn't be surprised to see a little man-to-man -man and some heat here. Free play after they jump down the sideline. It's a jump ball between Micah Bell. Biggest areas of focus has been learning how his position fits with others on the field. He credited J.D. Bertrand and current teammate Jack Kaiser with helping him learn the playbook that way. Player, you got to be a heck of an athlete to do both at this level. Fresh set of downs, pain runs. He stopped after a few yards. The ball is out again in this, of course, 14 years with the 49ers, Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm sure you got familiar with him with your time in the NFL. He was unbelievable to watch. Brian Young was one. Comes over as a grad transfer from Arizona State. Tells you something about what these former NFLers want to send their kids to go play for Marcus Freeman and his staff. Loving my teammates has been one of the things I learned the most. Um, you know, our rooms got a lot closer since we're closer in age now. And now that I'm one of the older guys, you know. His mother was really sick. He got into the end zone against Pittsburgh. I was able to talk to him after that as this ball is caught by K.K. Smith down the sideline. Guys like Jaden, it's a special place, and I think he felt that all throughout this process. Minchie's going to throw again, looking for the end zone. Beautiful ball. And Gilbert is into the end zone to tie the game. 100 pounds. He's a big target. He's a mature player. Showing up big here for the goal team. Extra point makes it official. 14 apiece. Gilbert, one of the young freshman receivers they're excited about. As Angeli comes back out for the blue team. Connects with Love and he's taken down. Jewett's who are coming over. It's going to be a completely revamped receiving core, and everybody here at Notre Dame is pretty excited about it. Jeremiah Love breaks a tackle. He's across the 40, still running out towards midfield. Refu the end of the down. He's a young player, but he's showing his versatility. He's got a lot of juice. Quick throw that time. Ball is caught by Jack Larson again on the sideline in motion. Over the top, behind it. Over the top. As Angeli. Looks to throw. Pressure coming. Gets it out. It's caught by Greathouse this time. Breaks a couple tackles and moves all the receiving records at that school and many in the state. So his transition was not a surprise, and he's going to get better and better and better as he goes. Here's Larson again with his fourth catch. Takes it inside the 10. And it makes a good run after the catch, and they're knocking on the door. First and goal. They hand it off. This is Love high-stepping his way through, and he's into two teams back in front. Thanks to Jeremiah Love. Of the third quarter is Mitch Jeter. He's back on for his third point after touchdown attempt. And it's good. He's in, that's close to two per contest. As Carr's working on third and long. Wow, look at that throw. Across the field is able to connect with K.K. Smith about a yard shy. They'll hand it off up the middle. Yes, they've got enough. Fisher puts his head down. Let's go back to phase on Notre Dame in the fall. Third down and four for the gold team. They trail by a score. Again, the clock runs here. This is good across midfield. Bumped out of bounds this time. Think about Oben Young, now Sevillano. Makes his presence felt as Carr swings it out to Ford. Makes the catch with plenty of real estate. Takes it across the 40 before he shut. 11 personnel with the three wide receivers and, and 35%, 12 personnel with the two wide receivers and two tight ends. But again, at the end of this game, this is a game-like experience for him and that entire offense. Looks like he's taking advantage. Going again for Gilbert, and he's got it to Micah Gilbert. He's in the end zone for the second time today, and the gold team. Important extra point here to tie the game at 21. It's good.
And this tight end room so far in this game today. This game, I think you can see, like you see yourself, Jack. Jack kind of stepped up, had, he's had, had a handful of catches. I think he's about like, what, 40 yards right now. Um, you see him all line up all over the field. Uh, where we're going to have you motion across and then get under center and, oh. and take a snap. And oh. Okay, oh. here we go. Oh. Sorry, sorry, touchdown, sorry. Chris Mitchell all the way oh. for a touchdown. Yeah, that's awesome. Chris Mitchell got loose. <laughs> Um, I got much of a on this board. He's Chris. He's, that's what everyone's talked about in the spring. He flew by me. It's like one of those, being like an IndyCar. You hear the IndyCar <laughs> flying by. That's what he sounded like. Well, let's keep an eye on this extra point here. Important one from Mitch Jeter. And it's good. Re really good route by Chris yeah, Mitchell. So Dan's kind of exploring out to the whole offense and just teaching some of these young guys how to create separation or even just how to pass block in the field. So, um, yeah, I think... Pressure off the edge. Carr gets it out quick. It's caught along the far sideline. That's Henry. They had a couple of those decisions back, but great for them to get that experience in this environment. Wow, they're going to throw on second down. <laughs> That'll stop the clock. Hate the drama. So here we go. Fourth down. Angeli throws. Great house makes the catch. And that should do it for the blue team. They've got the first. This would appear to be the right decision. 30 seconds left. They'll wind the clock out. And the blue team, Al Washington, has gone back to back. Impressive performance by Steve Angeli throughout. This defensive line of the blue team came up big in the critical moment. Caroline Pineda, Tony Simeone saying so long from South Bend. And thanks for watching the 93rd edition of the Blue Gold Game.